All right, so I just had a super entertaining conversation just then. Um, so I have a customer that he was complaining about evaporation. Now evaporation happens. So having a top-up system is a very good way to combat evaporation. But evaporation is a factor no matter what. Now if you have lids on your aquarium, it is able to reduce the evaporation because the water basically condensates on the lids and then often falls back into the aquarium again. So putting lids on your aquarium and lids on your sump will make some effort to reduce evaporation. Um, I'd prefer not to worry about that and just use a top up system. But this particular customer, which I found very entertaining, he made perfect lids to go over that part of the sump. This is obviously not his tank. Um, and he figured that as long as he had good lids there, that should stop the evaporation because that's where the evaporation was occurring because that's where the pump is. But um, he did not put lids on the tank, nor did he on the rest of the sump because he said that hasn't been a problem. The problem's only been there. So that's very interesting. So basically, just to be clear, with a system like this, no matter where the evaporation comes from, the evaporation will appear there because all the water will run down to there. So just in case some um, common sense eludes you, then um, maybe you might learn something. That the sump is where the condensation, where the evaporation will appear to come from, but it actually comes from the surface area of the whole system. It's also important when you are making lids to avoid evaporation, that they're not airtight because it's really important that oxygen gets into the system and um, you may create airtight lids and you may solve your evaporation problem but you're probably going to be killing your fish because oxygen is more important anyway feel free to comment unbelievable